Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you how to order from Taobao. Before we start, hurry up and check out all these offers just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you actually order from Taobao here, especially if you're in a different country, or in this case, we'll be using the international shipping here. So, first things first, let's go to Taobao here, and we want to go to their website and logged in. Now, by the way, if you're having some troubles using the website in Chinese, we actually have a tutorial on how to convert the website or the app itself into English. So, make sure to check out our channel. So, in this case, so once you're logged in, what we need to do next is we now need to add our address. So, for us to add our address, we want to go ahead and click on our profile at the top right here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to account settings. Now, in account settings, what we need to do is we need to choose the option for delivery address. Let's go and click on it. Now, in this case, you go and click on add address at the top right if you haven't added any address. And from here, you can go and click on the switch button or the blue button or link here that you see to switch to a different country. So currently, they support China, uh, Chinese mainland. We have Hong Kong, we have China, we have Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia, Australia, New Zealand, USA, Canada, and even Japan. In this case, go ahead and choose the country that you want to actually set your address for. And once you've chosen that, you just need to provide the necessary details. So that includes the detailed address, the postcode, the recipient's name, and the mobile number. Now, if you want to make this as your default number or default delivery address, you can go ahead and enable this one as well and just hit on confirm to save your changes. Now, once you've actually added your address, we're now ready to start ordering. Let's go ahead and go back to the main UI or the main homepage for Taobao. Now, from here, for you to search for products, you could use the search bar in the very top here. Now, in this case, you could also use a photo to search for specific products. Like for example, if you saw a picture of a great, a good product that you really want to buy, you could actually search by image here by pasting the image itself or just uploading the picture itself. But you could also use keywords to search for certain products if you want to. Now also in the homepage, you should be able to see different product recommendations here depending on your history. Now, in this case, you can also use the product categories here, which allows you to see different categories of products that you might want to get into. So currently, they have men's fashion, autumn code, and a lot more. So they have a lot of categories here that you could actually view. So for example, maybe I want to go to men's fashion here. So we're going to choose that one. And from here, it's going to give you different options for men's fashion. In this case, what we need to do is we need to choose a product. So let's go ahead and choose one of the products here. Like for example, maybe I want to buy this product here. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Now from here, what we need to do next is we now need to view the details of the actual product. So by default, you should be able to see the title of the product here, the delivery or how it's going to be delivered, the insurance here. You could change this if you want to. So by default, it's going to be price, guarantee, service return, shipping, insur uh, insurance, seven days, no recent return. So in this case, you go and choose that. You can also choose your color here, the size that you want to get, and the quantity. Now, also when you scroll down a bit here, you have the user reviews and the reviews for that specific product. So currently, uh, this product actually has good, uh, uh, in this case, good reviews if you're going to look at it. So they also have images here if you want to view them. I also have the parameter information here if you want to view more details about the product itself, like the color, the co uh, the color itself, the sizes, the color, the si uh, zip, uh, the co clothes packet, the pattern, and a lot of those details. Now, if you want to view photos of the product, you go and scroll down here and you should be able to see the graphic details. That includes the photos here, as you can see right now. And yeah, so once you're sure that you want to buy this at the right side here, when you scroll down a bit, this is what your product's going to look like, you should be able to see the type of product you want to buy. If you scroll to the very top, it's going to give you the same thing. So for example, we want to get like, for example, a denim blue here. And the size is going to be, let's say, uh, L, in, or in this case, large. In this case, you go and click on add to cart here or buy it now. So if you choose buy it now, it's going to redirect you to another page. In this case, directly buy the product itself and proceed with the payment. Now, if you want to buy this on a later date, you could go and choose the collect option here, which in this case will save this to your favorites if you visit the favorite section here. But in this case, since we added this product, let's go and click on cart at the right side here. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to proceed with the checkout. In this case, first select all the products that you want to buy here and make sure that you've set the quantity or the uh, quantity of products you want to buy here correctly. So we just want one here. Let's go and choose that and click on settlement. Now, from here, what would we need to do next is we now need to specify a few things. Like for example, the address that you want to deliver to. 
if you want to modify it just click on modify this address or even use a new address if you want to change it to a different one now you could also use a self collection here which in this case will actually save on fright and makes receiving your goods a lot more convenient so if you want to learn more about that you can go and click on details here but in this case we want to choose the cross border delivery methods here so currently they have air transport ma uh, mail c transport consolidated c fright uh transport here and they also have the fright so depending on what you choose here the prices will change so currently the cheapest right now is going to be mail air transport which is around 48 u1 so if you want to choose the email she uh, see shipping here which is a lot cheaper which is 39 dollar uh you on here you could go and choose that but again you could go and choose whatever option you want to hear so uh if you choose mail c it might be or it might take a lot longer but if you choose uh air here generally speaking it's a lot faster but yeah so once you've chosen that we now need to see our products here so first is you want to set your discounts here. So depending on the store, they might provide some discounts. So make sure to basically select the appropriate discounts that you want to use. So in this case, we also have the message to seller if you want to add some messages here. So if you have like any specifications or requests here, you could basically leave a message if you want to. And also you also have the official discounts here if you want to apply those. But in this case, let's go and choose our currency here. For example, I want to use Australian dollar here since I've set my address to Australia. Let's go and click on submit order. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do next here is we just need to proceed with the payment. In this case, you could go and add your address or your card here. So for example, let's go and choose using a new card or debit card here. And you can add your card number, card holder's name, the card validity period, and the card holder's last name and CVV. Now, once you provide all these details here, just click on use this card, click on pay your order, and your order should now be uh, submitted. And you just need to wait for it to be processed and basically wait for the order to arrive at your doorstep. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.